Open Document Spreadsheets using Functions Part 1. To place a function in this cell, click on the function Wizard. We need to count how many learners are in the class. We need the count function. Either click in this box and type a C, which will take you in the vicinity of the counts, or select Statistical, and then find Count. Note that the count function only counts numbers. The count A function counts all values, whether they're text or numbers. We want to count the learner's name, so we need count A. Double click on count A. A function is a built-in calculation. It takes arguments. An argument is seen inside the brackets. We need to select a range as an argument. Click on Select and select the range to be counted. Click on Maximize. The result of the function can be seen in this box. Click on OK. The function wizard is helpful when you're not too sure what a function does. Count A counts text and numbers. Select the next cell. If you know what the function is that you want to use and you're sure what it does, you can just type it in. Type equals, sum and open round brackets. Drag over the range of cells to be added. Close the brackets and click on the accept button. This allows you to check the function that you've typed in while the cursor is still in the cell. Select the next cell. To find the highest mark we need the max function. Type equal max, open round brackets and drag over the range. Close the round brackets and click on accept. Select the next box. To get the lowest mark we need the min function. Type equal min, open round brackets and select the range that is going to be the argument for the function. Close the brackets and click on accept. If marks need to be copied when they've been calculated, select the cells to copy and use the drag handle to drag them across. Notice that this function refers to the range C4 to C9. The next range is relative to where the calculation is D4 to D9, E4 to E9 and so on. Now we need the average of these marks. Click on the function wizard. Either find average here or click on statistical. Double click on the average function. Click on select and select the range where the average must be found. Click on maximize. We can always check the result that will be placed in the cell here. Click on OK. This has been rounded to a certain number of decimal places by clicking on the Delete Decimal Place button. Drag to copy. Remember to use the wizard when you need assistance with using functions. Otherwise, just type the function in and name the range, such as G4 to G9.